guys so in this video we are just going to be playing in some eye makeup this is going to be a therapy makeup because i just i need something to do okay to keep my mind going so with that being said let's get started now my one of my favorite brushes are the complex culture brushes i love love their brushes i love the sleekness of just how it is designed i think it is really adorable and really cute um i love purchasing these when i can from boxy charm um yeah so because they are not they're not cheap brushes okay they're more than what i usually spend on brushes but i do love them so we are either going to play in this violet voss <sighs> violet sunset palette or this ace beauty falling for you palette and yes i know it is not full time but uh <laughs> listen we're gonna we're gonna play what we got okay we're gonna play what we got and i'm pretty sure i got something that is lighter but i, I don't want to so to prep our eyes today okay and the reason why i'm doing this one is because i really am trying to not allow my mind to wander and stress right now i don't know what is going on how girl I, oh, I, okay put my nose today um but anyways i really am <sighs> listen dealing with a property that you need to get together while um on the verge of living paycheck to paycheck is not an easy plight do you hear me it's not an easy journey and if it ain't one thing it is another okay once again if it ain't one thing <laughs> it is another okay what we're using as a primer today which is an eye primer is going to be Oh Lord, Alamar Cosmetics. Um, this is a long wear sticky pigment base. Um, I haven't done an eye look, like a designated eye look in a very, very long time. Um, uh, a very long time, okay? It's been a long time. Should have left you without a dope beat to stare to. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put this this as in our eyebrows up. We are going to fill it in. We're going to fill it in with the brown, okay? We're going to fill it in with a brown. So we're going to take this brush here and just slick it as much as we can. Because it is a tacky base, wipe it off. Do it again. And then just go from there okay now let us we're going to use the violet sunset blush uh, brush day nabbit palette okay palette guys so yeah back to what i was saying um oh okay that's why i said blush we're going to go into oh gosh blush here I'm not even sure which one is lighter. So we're going to go to Sunset first, I think. Sunset first. And just put a a light coat. And this is called an all over shadow brush. And um, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put it all over. And we're just patting it in right now because it is, as you, you know, I would say as you read, but as I said, a tacky um, base. So... We're going to let it tackify it, do what it's supposed to do, okay? I know that ain't a word, but, okay, and then we're going to really go up in here, all right? It is just like I was saying, one thing I, it's one thing, if it ain't one thing, it's another, Okay. So it is just like, God, I need guidance, like 
heavy, heavy guidance because right now in a natural, this seems like an impossible task. Okay, impossible, impossible, all right, impossible. Okay, now that we got that down, we'll probably go into blush a little later, but right now we're going to go into ooh, Dusk, which is a deep color, and we're going to try to go lightly because um, it, it can go wrong really fast, okay, really, really fast. So, all right, let's try to let that be, really let it be, and then let's try to blend it upwards. And we stop here. So that's good. Just our key point here and just to blend up. Okay. And because of the sticky base, it's a sticky base, it's going to be more pigmented. But we don't mind it because we do want it pigmented. Um, but not like, um, not so pigmented to where it's muddy. So we still went in with a little bit, but it's going to be pigmented because the base is tacky. So, but it is doing what it's supposed to do, what I want it to do. Let's just hope we can get the other side to match, okay? Let's, let's just, let's just, let's just hope, okay? Let's just hope. Are we there? Okay, now with that, we're going to go in with the Violet Sunset, which is here. And we're going to use this Precision Eyelid, eyelid Brush, and we're going to put on the lids. Okay, just, just, just slap it on the lids. And see what we get so that's what it looks like in here and that's what it looks like on the brush I'm going to assume that it's it's getting some of the pigments from um, from the lid. Okay, that that's where my assumption is going to be. Probably right. Probably right. Okay. I think that works because we did blend it out very well in the end part, or the outer part. Then we're going to go back in this brush here and we're going to go and blush a little bit and just just blend we gotta make sure we see a little bit of everything okay just a little bit of everything
Okay, so we are doing our, our eyebrow, but we are using more than one product, okay? So on the tail end of my eyebrows, I like to use, but I don't do all the time, but I am going to start using this on a regular basis. This is the AOA Studio Brow Gel. It's a super pigmented, long-lasting, smudge-proof eyebrow um, gel. The reason why I like this one is because my hair is scarce on the outer parts of my eyebrows. Um, so with this being smudge proof and the fact that I do work outside the office and I do work in the field, meaning outside sometimes, or I do have to be in the uh, the weather um, every day. So with this being smudge proof, when I do sweat and if I do remember to just pat and not wipe off, you know, it it it, it will still last a little longer because with regular eyebrow products like the ones that I have and the... Um, I can't even think of the name of it right now, but it, it smudges, okay? It just, it's going to wipe off. It doesn't even promise smudge proof or anything like that. Um, so I just need to use what works for me. Also, I love this because this is very inexpensive. AOA is a very inexpensive product, um, but what, these are one of the products that I really do love to use they also did have an eyebrow pencil I believe that I like to use as well but I don't know if that one was smudge proof but with that being said let's get started before it dries on my hands and I just put a little dot here because a little dot goes a long way okay a long way So, I don't know if they really match, but they match in a, a, a little better, okay, a little better than what I usually do, so I'm not upset, okay, I'm not upset, and we're just stretching it just so we can get a point, okay, a, a point, all right, all right. Okay, and this is really just like I said, I want to do it on the outer portion um, because it is a little darker than the rest of my eyebrow products, but I'm not mad at that because I do like an ombre-ish type of a look. Anyway, I don't like the front of my eyebrows to be so, so thick and pronounced, so this actually works for me, okay? let's see if we can clean up just a little bit not too much so we're going to go this far back and just do that because we are going to use concealer and stuff at some point but i just want to clean up just a tiny bit but not too much too close because if i do it too close it's going to take off a lot more than what i want a lot more than what i want <sighs> okay so this is the eye look I have not done an eye look in a while, <clears throat> and now that my eyebrows are on, um, I can see a little better. I am not upset with what I am actually looking at, okay? I'm not upset, um, yeah, at what I'm looking at, so it, it is what it is at this point. It is what it is, but I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Okay, here, so like we are going to start our process on putting on our foundation. The foundation that we are using, I believe, is going to be the Maybelline. Hold on, guys. It is the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear Foundation. And I really love this foundation, especially for the summertime. It's up to 30 hour, yeah, 30 hour foundation. My shade is 330 Toffee. Um, 
if you don't know my Maybelline Fit Me, I have 330 and 335. Um, I don't have it in front of me right now, but those are the two that I go between. But I've really been using the 330, so I got it in the Super Stay Active Wear also. This is a full coverage foundation, light as air feels, and it does feel very nice on the skin. It's not um, thick feeling or anything like that. Um, it is transfer resistant, which I really, really love. And it is a matte finish. So as I've said before, um, when I do put my foundation on, I do have lines that are on my forehead and like around my eye area. Um, so I do like to stretch my skin, if that makes sense. Yes, that's what I was doing. Um, to make sure I get every nook and cranny. See, see the lines on my forehead right there when I make facial expressions and stuff? And then when I smile and I laugh and all that other loveliness that we do with our face. Those are the effects that I deal with um, in my skin. I'm not mad about it, you know. I just deal with the fact that that is how my skin is and how it looks. Um, ain't nothing I can do about it. So that's just where we are. Um, I don't see Botox or anything like that in my, my future. For near future, I just will age how my body decides to age and go from there. Now, I'm not opposed to estheticians and stuff like that, but needles in my skin when it's not um, mandatory, <laughs> we, we're not going to do. Because I do have a feral shots. Not tattoos, but of shots. So... Yeah, I'm one, I'm one of those. I'm one of those. So, we're just continuing to put on foundation and build as much as we can, but not too much because if you are new and do not know, I hate, I hate a full, full coverage face um, with makeup caked on it. My face doesn't even like it because I sweat and... Um, It's counteractive for me. Now we're starting with the concealer process. As you know, I do go under, oh Lord, I do go under my eyes. I do have a tendency of um, using too much product, but I make it work <laughs> regardless. Um, I'm still working on that, still working on that guys. I do take my time blending out underneath my eyes um, because I'm still getting used to, and I don't know if I ever will, um, the shade differences on my face, especially under my eyes and blending it to a point to where it's like seamless and it just, it's effortless and it just works. I just, in my eyes, I don't feel like I do it correctly um, at all, if I'm going to be honest. Concealer process for me, I do it. I go through the process and the motions, but I'm not keen on it. Um, honestly speaking, the only place I really like concealer is my forehead and the bridge of my nose. Um, but that's about it. 
That's about it. I still do it for the look, but I'm not the biggest fan. Fan. Um, what I don't mind doing, though, is just doing the foundation all over my face and just using different powders to set the areas that the concealer is supposed to be in. Um, I'm comfortable doing that more, but because I do have concealer, I do like to use the products that I have. I do, you know, like my pictures and things like that when I do take them. Um, it's just something that has to continually grow on me. And prayerfully, one day I will be satisfied with how I do my makeup, you know, prayerfully. But I don't know. I think that's more of a self thing than anything else for me. So. Now here we are starting the powdered process um, of powdering our face, locking in the concealer so that it can stay a little longer. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I could explain that differently or better, but that's what y'all are getting today, okay? Now what I've started doing is um, putting it on the sponge, but then I do dab it on the back of my hand because I am not a fan of powders that are cakey looking on the face. I don't like it. I don't like too much powder on the face. And I do struggle with that sometimes. And sometimes I struggle with the fact of just the color. Once again, it is more so a self thing than anything. Um, you know, and a lot of times under my eyes, I do feel like the powder is too light for me. But when I take pictures and see the aftermath of everything, I'm okay with it. It's just, like I said, it's a process. Um, As you see, we have started the contouring process. And for me, I think this process is my favorite out of everything that we do because it brings dimension back into the face for me and it brings color back into the face for me to where I don't feel like everything that I've done is just too light for my skin complexion and you know maybe you think that it actually does work for my skin complexion once again it is a me thing okay in my mind i am a lot darker than what i am okay don't come for me i just have a deeper skin tone in my mind so when it comes to me doing makeup it is really a fight for me because when I first started many years ago, and I've been doing makeup on and off for years, um, and I do it, even though I don't do it every day now, or gosh, it's a hassle just doing it once a week and actually doing a video for me. But with that being said, even though 
Um, I'm doing it more often now. It wasn't like that in the past. And for me to go to the store and just blindly pick a foundation because I'm deeper in my mind than what I am, um, my foundation has always been too deep, too dark for me. And a part of me still struggles um, with that. A part of me still struggles with that. And I don't even know what to do with that. But it, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> I guess it is what it is. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. But yeah. So now we're going in with a blush on these uh, cheeks of ours. And, um, hell, if I tell it, I, I struggle with everything. Every process that I do to do my face, I struggle with. You hear me? I'm never satisfied or know if I'm satisfied till the aftermath and me being completely done and taking pictures of my face. And I, look, look, it's, it's very seldom, um, far, few in between when I'm like, oh my God, my face is bummed. From start to finish very seldom but regardless of how i may feel okay um and i'm just telling you this because you know i overly explain things sometimes talk too much but i'm working on it i'm working on it um regardless of how i may feel about my face and if i'm doing it or did it and i don't have time to change it or anything I still walk around like my face is bomb and <laughs> you would never know that I'm uncomfortable or insecure with what I did makeup wise or in my skin period because there are some days that um, I'm not in the greatest spirits or I'm not always happy with what I see in the mirror or what I put on but I walk like I am. The confidence that I have, I just, I just make it work. Um, I just make it work. So that's just a little, a little something, a little tea about me. You know, a little, a little information about me that I share with you guys. Honestly, also to just let you guys know that if you are that type of person, you're not alone. Um, you're not alone, and sometimes with the society. It's hard to be okay in the skin that you're in. So now we are trying a lip um, combination. And as you see, we're using a lipstick that we have. And we're just using it as um, all around the borders of our lips. Like a like we would do it with Lord, like we would do a lip pencil. Um, I have I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're trying something different. Um, I can't find my deep brown, almost brown. I mean black looking um, liquid lipstick. So. These are the two that I had in a drawer and I haven't used them before. So I said, what the heck, let's try them together. And I'm not upset with the combination. <laughs> I don't feel like my lips are even um, right now, but we're trying to fix that. Okay. We're trying Here to fix that. It's a completed look. And I'm not mad at it. Okay. But it just depends on the lighting. It depends on the lighting. Because different lighting gives me different effects. And if it's a yellow lighting, I, I hate it. All right. But this lighting right here in this bathroom, I'm not mad at it. And even looking at it through the phone, I'm not mad at it. I really do actually like it. What you think, girl? She likes it too, so... That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am tired. I have had a long, 
I've had an emotional day. I've had an emotional day. Um, and I'm going to bed. All right. And I may, I'm, I may take a nap in this and take this off in the morning. I don't know. I don't know. And nap in the morning and such a look. Whatever. So, yes, that is it. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill. That's it. Hey guys, so I wanted to let you guys see this face and what it looks like. Y'all come on now. Shoot, be hot out here. Um, sorry. What this face looks like um, after basically, I'm just keep hitting the dang on thing. Um, basically, oh gosh. I don't even know how to put it, okay? But by 7, 7, 10 in the morning, and right now it's 5.55 in the afternoon, and this is what my face looks like. Now, as I have said before, I do work outside. Um, I do inspections, so my job has me out in the elements of the heat and the sunshine okay and then the air condition and repeat um yeah rinse 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 and repeat so this is what the space looks like this is basically uh, also this is two plies of makeup okay i slept in it i did it last night slept in it because this makeup is supposed to be up to 30 hour wear and we were testing that out also with laziness as well so we did it last night um, and then once I got up this morning I did I basically redid my face but I didn't wash anything off so I just applied the foundation again because it's a mattifying foundation and um, just I didn't put on any new concealer I just put powder on under my eyes um, because I have combination skin so that's what we did here we won't be doing this again for a long time um, for a long time but what I will say what I will say is that even though my oils are coming through because once again the elements I don't mind it I don't mind it and the fact that my eye not my eyes my face is still basically done with makeup and with me wearing whoo, a mask um, throughout the day as well the transfer wasn't too terrible and um, I did mention that I sweat above my lips um, or above my lip and I did end up sweating above my lip but it's not like it didn't really rub off all the makeup or anything like that and even when I patted it or um, patted my lip with the mask still on my face it didn't come off you know because I do have um, discoloration above my lips like y'all see what my skin look like so I, I didn't have that big of a problem um, so I am excited about that before I blotted my face when I got in the car and took the mask off I did wait a while um, for it to dry not a whole while but I did wait long enough for it to dry down with um, me having the air condition on as well and just kind of I just took my fingers and patted the water off um, of my face and that worked for me as well um, because as I said before this this top lip is a uh, troublesome problem for me so I'm not gonna go and blot my face again or anything like that we're, we're not the, the next thing I'm gonna do is end up taking all of this makeup off my face and then I'm going to do my whole skincare regimen because I need to and I may add a mask 
in this regimen because I did have this my face my face and pores have been covered um, for over 12 hours okay for over 12 hours I, I can't tell anything after that because I don't remember how long it was or when I stopped but it's been over 12 hours so since that is a thing Okay, um, I'm, I'm gonna say about 18 hours, 17, 18 hours. My face and pores have been covered. I need to cleanse it. I need to cleanse it. I need to purify it because if you do not know, I am uh, my skin is acne prone, and we're gonna go through this life today. Yes, we are. All right, um, my skin is acne prone, so we're not gonna chirp out about that but with that and with um cheryl being here it's it, it happens it, it, it happens okay it happens so yeah that is what we did for today to try this makeup out um this is the first time that i have actually worked with makeup on my face all day even with me going out and doing inspections without me um, uh, disturbing my face from like the eyebrows and everything I will say I'm very impressed with the makeup and very impressed with myself because I am a finicky touchy person and I will wipe in a minute and not even think about it until after I had a, until after I've already done it but I didn't have that issue with that problem today. So, proud of myself. Go me. Go me. I wonder what they built in there. Hmm. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I am proud of myself with that. So, it is, it's been a task today. It's been a task. I did... I had 11 expressions today. So, I got out the car 11 different times today to have to deal with the heat um, and I live in a state where we have humid heat here okay we have I'm in the south we have humid heat in South Carolina so um, and you know what I'll be honest I don't I don't know if I ever noticed any of the differences of the heat okay I've been to Vegas during the summertime during when it was hot as I don't know what and it got 200 plus degrees and heat is heat to me my gosh I just, I just be hot so I don't know but if you are into that type of stuff we have humid heat uh, down here so yeah that was it I just wanted to show you guys my face and y'all know if I continue to talk I would just continue to talk and talk and talk but that is it for this video to add this clip in here um this was the Maybelline, oh God, it's the Maybelline sports one, okay? It says 30 plus hours on the bottle and it has a white top. Okay, now the Maybelline Fit Me, which I do love that foundation too, but this one is 30 plus hours and I will make this as a foundation that I use um, during the summertime um, because it does, it does stand against time you know and if I wasn't doing this test and I really cared even more I would blot it and you know probably could have blotted it and gone throughout my day but because I didn't get back into the office until four o'clock I only have 30 more minutes so it, it ain't it ain't make a difference to me at all <laughs> like with all of this um so yeah, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing, glorious, blessed day.